Merci, Madame la Présidente. Thank you, Madam Chair. I don't want to contradict the witness. I don't want to accuse her of fake news, but here in front of me, I have a joint statement from the World Health Organization of the United Nations, for which recognizes that uh, the law against the fight against marijuana has failed. The United States has recognized that it has failed. I've also been to the United Nations. I am a member of the UN com Committee. We went to a conference to the, with the United Nations where we debated on the matter, and the conclusion was very clear. Countries are ready to work and can work in their own jurisdiction. And so I just want to correct this information. It's, it's false that uh, the UN said that the war against drugs was victorious. It's a, it's a failure, and everyone has noted that it's a failure, well, perhaps trying to correct me. But I could send to the clerk this article. I only have this uh, statement in French, but the clerk will be able to send it to the committee because it's an important statement. This is a joint statement from the World Health Organization and the United Nations. I don't want to uh, let everyone believe that you're right, because unfortunately what you stated was fake news. Uh, thank you very much for your um, um, interjection. Um, I'd just like to quote in our brief, uh, we quote Antonia Maria Costa, Executive Director of the UN Offices on Drug and Crime, UNODC. In his analysis of the effect of the drug treaties, he stated, legal controls on drug use have been successful. Over the last decade, world output of cocaine and amphetamines has been stabilized with a reduction in marijuana use and opium production. Without legal prohibitions the, against these drugs, the results would be markedly different. So this is someone from the um, UN Office on Drugs and Crime. So there obviously is a different of opinion. Well, I, I'm not giving the opinion Senator of an Dawson, individual. Senator Dawson, just, um, we have your statement within the record. If you could file uh, the document you're referring to for the purpose of the meeting, I will, I will send it to the clerk uh, Thank you. after the meeting, Thank and you. I'll, I'll, I'll find the both versions so we can distribute it quickly. Uh, I just want to say that this is not an opinion of an individual. It's the World Health Organization and the UN. It's not somebody at the UN that, that might. I not, if I were a drug enforcer, I certainly wouldn't like this. But if I were the World Health Organization, I'd say, if it's right, let's do it. The, the World Health Organization is not the General Assembly of the United Nations. It's the bureaucrats who are there, but they do not actually have the right to determine policy. They are to implement the policy at the UN, and you can get the U, U, all sorts of uh, UNICEF, you can get all sorts of uh, bureaucrats at the UN proposing, but it's not the policy of the UN, it's just a bureaucrat's opinion. And I, I don't think you can put much store in what they're saying. Um, well, I'll let I the document. I don't think that, uh, that the World Health um, is, is one to go by, but you should go by one who is a specialist in drugs, which is the UN Committee on, on, on Narcotics Control. They uh, are the specialists, not the world health. I'll just, I'll just put on the record that this is a statement by the UN, not by an individual at the UN. That's a joint statement between the World Health Organization, which I think the credibility is pretty much established, mm -hmm. and not an organization of the UN, not a functionary, not a, a civil servant, not an employee. It is by the UN, the institution. It didn't, no, that is, it, it may have been the world health policy, but it was not the policy of the UN. I cannot begin to tell you um, how different that is and how incorrect uh, in, to say that this is the UN speaking. It is not the UN. It is, in fact, um, it's not the General Assembly. It's not the policy. It's simply one, the World Health, with some leaders maybe, but it, it's, they're always doing that. I mean, it doesn't carry much weight worldwide. Obviously, we'll have a difference of opinion, but I'll, I'll also ask you if you can send a copy to this, of the statement to the witness. Might it be interesting that she'd have That's facts what instead I've asked of fiction. That's that you would, uh, well, I'll uh, not reply to your last comment. The witnesses are here to testify and uh, their opinions. So we've had a healthy debate. 
uh, difference of opinion. We will have your statement, Senator Dawson, and we will, uh, it'll form part of our record so the clerk can provide it to the witnesses should they wish it. And uh, on that note, we've had a debate, a difference of opinion. Uh, that is what we're looking for. We're looking for input from Canadians who wish to express themselves. And on that basis, I would thank both witnesses for coming forward and, and putting their opinions on the uh, uh, record. And of course, we as the senators of this committee will be weighing all of the um, submissions made as we look to our report. So thank you for coming.